Can you get rich in a bear market? Yeah, of course you can. As we all know, 2022 is the year that the asset bubble Popped. Our investment portfolios took a brutal damn nosedive. While it's painful to see, we must not forget that millionaires are made during bear markets. Successful investors, they're forward looking. And the market doesn't really care about where we are now, only where we're going. So now, probably not the time to be giving up and selling and walking away. What you do right now in this bear market could very well determine your success in the next bull market. Here is the dead simple four-step process to win in a bear market and to prepare as best as you can for the next bull market. And make sure to watch this the whole way through because the fourth step could just be the most important of them all. So, step number one. Bear markets are not for quitting or for feeling sorry for yourself. I know it's tempting, but instead bear markets are for building. Use the bad times to prepare for the good times. It's simple, but it's not easy to do. Here are some tips though. Make sure you're building cash flow because one thing you're going to need during this period is cash, cash, cash. And I know that cash is trash, but it's the king of the trash in the bear market. The more you earn, the more you can invest. It's that simple. Now, whether you're, that's by progressing your career, asking for a raise, starting a side hustle, do it, why not? You're waiting for it, just get it done. Creating a personal brand, whatever it might be. There are options out there. You just need to take them. And let's be honest, has there been any better time than now? No, it isn't. Do it. And with less than 30 days until the end of the year, there's no time like the present to review your current financial situation, your career, all that stuff. Ask yourself the hard questions. Ask your boss for a raise. Remove wastage from your budget to maximize your income. We also need to think about building systems during this time, as well as building your cash flow. You're going to need to build better systems. See, when it comes to a bull market, you can invest in pretty much any asset and it's going to go up in price. Some more than others, but most things will go up in price during that time. But a bear market always reveals the truth. As Warren Buffett says, only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. A bear market is a time to learn from your mistakes of, you know, FOMOing in at the top, misallocating money, suffering huge losses being overexposed to one in particular asset, lacking in investment education, all this kind of stuff. Use this time to review your financial goals, you know, review your research checklist, review your decision-making process, and really try to think where things could have gone wrong in the last cycle. Take this bear market as a moment to map out what you want your portfolio to look like in the next bull market. A sign that your portfolio is well diversified is that it's made up of multiple different assets. In addition to crypto, right? You might want to have a mix of the following, cash, real estate, stocks, commodities like gold and silver. Diversify, right? Now the second step, study. When your portfolio is in the green, no one really cares why. You just want to enjoy, you know, being rich, right? It's only when the bear market sets in that investors realize inflation and interest rates and all this other stuff matters in a big way. You need to fill in any knowledge gaps that you might have. Make a point of studying macroeconomic topics. This is going to help you understand what is happening in markets and what we could expect to happen in markets next. Understanding things like previous market cycles, business life cycles, how money actually flows between different assets is going to give you context for markets moving forward. Because history may not repeat, but it certainly can and often does rhyme in markets. And as investors, we must be prepared for anything. Put yourself in a position where you know an investment inside and out and the potential scenarios that could send the price of that investment up or the price of that investment down. Also make sure to keep up with narratives. A bear market doesn't mean that an asset can't go up in value and that there's no money to be made. This is a common misconception, but it's definitely not true. There can be many opportunities to make really big money during a bear market. And remember that bear markets for the S&P 500 last on average for 388 days and also see some of the biggest rallies in the markets. Crypto bear markets also tend to follow right along with equity markets. And remember, when the bear market ends, markets can move fast and hard. But up until that point, keep in mind that narratives can and will change quickly. And along with those changing narratives, we're going to see big pumps in certain coins, big dumps in other coins, and that we may 
see different plays throughout this bear market from things like real yield coins, like GMX, to things like Dogecoin pumping because Elon tweeted about it. But you need to pay attention to things as well like blockchain upgrades, partnerships, launches, all this kind of different stuff. People are speculating the next narrative is gonna be, they all have the potential to move particular projects. For example, we had Polygon's big partnerships coming out this year and that moved the price. And look, do not ignore economic indicators like inflation, interest rates, employment, GDP, commodity prices, all of that stuff has the potential to move entire markets as we have seen very clearly in 2022. Now before investing, and networking, I want to just let you know real quick about my weekly crypto investor newsletter called Wealth Mastery. It's jam-packed full of alpha on altcoins, airdrops, NFTs. We have weekly step-by-step -step DeFi tutorials, market analysis, and much, much more. Join our 50,000 weekly readers by signing up for free using the link down below in the description. Okay, now let's talk about the third step, which of course is to, well, invest. Pretty simple, right? If you invested during the bull market, then should you be investing now? Yeah, probably, it's a no brainer. Sadly, fear is going to tell most people that now's a terrible time to invest. Everything's gonna keep getting worse, 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 worse. Truth is that prices are cheaper and potential recessions do bring about life changing opportunities. It won't get worse forever. And because of recession fears, I do want to emphasize though, move slow, you don't need to go all in, right? Just take your time. Survival is key during this period. Dollar cost averaging into the market, probably the easiest way to be investing right now, but you can take it one step further to try to maximize your profits without trying to time the market bottom. You know, if you've tried timing the bottom before, you'll probably know it's not as easy as it sounds. Things can always change, new narratives develop that cause more fear. So instead of going all in, try a layered approach. The further the market falls, maybe you invest a larger amount of your capital. You never want to be though fully invested in a bull market and you never want to be fully sat on the sidelines during a bear market. Keeping a cash position in all market circumstances for liquidity, essential. And yes, you do need to give yourself time and money to build your long-term investment positions. It doesn't happen overnight, so stop thinking you're gonna get rich overnight, because that's not how it works. Remember though, cash is king in a bear market, even if it is fundamentally trash. Also, try to avoid all those uh, short-term plays if you haven't taken the time to really understand the different narratives that are at play in the market, you really haven't got time to be out there trading. If you do, short-term plays are fine. But if you don't, then chances are, by the time you hear about something on social media, it's already too late and the early players are exiting. Be careful. You don't want to repeat the same mistakes that you made in the bull market. Spend your time studying a sector of the market at any given time. Try to identify those long-term projects that you can invest in with conviction. Things are gonna come back. Gaming narrative's gonna come back. Oracle narrative's gonna come back, et cetera, et cetera. Rather than thinking about what's a good investment today, consider what would make a good investment one or two years from now in the next big market cycle. And the fourth step, network. It's tough to build anything in isolation, whether that's a business or an investment portfolio. Your network is worth more than your net worth as they say. You have to get to know like-minded people to come along on your wealth building journey with you. It's going to open up your eyes to new perspectives and open up new opportunities for you to grow. One easy way to do this is by curating your social media feeds so that they're full of different interesting people with wide range of perspectives that you can continue to learn from. People who are gonna challenge your assumptions as well, is very important. And don't be afraid to get out into the world either after the past two years of you know, lockdowns and all that stuff. A lot of us probably really need to see other regular people in real life. Work to put yourself in rooms that you wouldn't usually be invited into. That's where you're gonna find a lot of value, those after parties at conferences. And yes, attend in-person conferences and talk to people. It's a great place to start, especially now, because the people showing up to conferences during a bear market, they are a different breed of people in general, right? They're still here, they're still building. Also, if you can find a mentor, or just start a conversation with a stranger. You never know where an opportunity might lead. Okay, that's it. Subscribe now. See you next time.